Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about how to light a wine bottle. So today I'm using not a wine bottle, but something that looks like a wine bottle. This is this uh, luxury kombucha. So I'm creating this product video for this brand today. And I just wanted to take you along my process of how I'm going to do this today, particularly focusing on the lighting for this. First things first, I'm not trying to mime if that's what you're thinking, but whenever you're handling products, it's always good to wear gloves. So that way you don't leave your ugly, oily fingerprints on the bottle or on the product. So we're gonna get the bottles clean and the glasses are pretty clean already. But another thing too, is that you have to remove the back label on this product. And that way you're going to be able to put a light behind it to give it a nicer glow. All right, so one important thing when you're filming wine bottles is that you wanna have a rectangular soft source of light. So you see a lot of videos out there where people are using these round soft boxes or octo soft boxes, but the problem with that is that even though that's soft lighting because of the way your product is, you're not going to get a flattering look on your bottle. You may get a spot of highlight in the bottle and it won't be a desirable look. So let me give you an example. So right now I have a circular diffuser here on this LED panel and I have a circular softbox here. You see what it looks like as soon as I get rid of this rectangular-ish diffusion. So you see over here, right here, you get like a rounder and a bigger spot of highlight on this side of the bottle and it's not as uniform as the other side. And that's because now you have this round softbox. So what we're going to do is, although this is not that softbox is not completely rectangular like on this side um, the good thing is that it's oval shaped so you get to hide the roundness at the bottom and at the top to give you still a rectangular soft look so just like that you see how the lighting improved vastly just by adding that extra layer of soft of diffusion that is more rectangular you get a nicer look throughout the length of the bottle on the other side i have a similar look I have this straight line that goes throughout the bottle this way down to the body of the bottle. And that's a very nice, this soft look as well. What I did here is because I don't have another one of these is that I'm having this fabric, diffusion fabric, which I folded a few times to increase the layer of diffusion. And I have a mic stand that I put on the table and a spotlight that we light Ninja, Ninja 300, I believe, just pointing at the back over here. So if you saw a little bit of a spot in here, what happened was that there was a little bit of light coming from the other side of this room over there, and that was causing that nasty highlight just in the bottle. So make sure if there's things in your surrounding to either block it off either with a black screen in front or something like that so you don't get unwanted highlights. So what I have right here is just this LED panel this pocket LED light just to place at the back of this bottle to give it some glow in the liquid over here and make that liquid inside the bottle a lot more desirable and makes you want to drink it. One thing that I like to do a lot as well is shoot a longer focal length because I don't have a huge background and I want to hone in on the subject. If I were to have a bigger set design then i can go a little bit wider but i can't really go too wide because then you'll be able to see all my setup right here i'm also using the sigma 105 macro lens which is really good to get in really tight and get those macro shots of details and at the top of this setup i have an amaran 100d i have it with the lantern softbox and this is just helping give a little bit of light to the background and to the top of the bottle here, right here, if you can see right there. But yeah, that's how you properly light a wine bottle and how you make it look good.
right, so those are all the shots that I got today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. You learned something new about how to light your products. Sometimes you really don't you don't really have to have really fancy cuts or really fancy movement. All you need is just a clean product shot with really good lighting so that it looks like the pro shot it. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. That'll be greatly appreciated. So this is the final result. I hope you enjoy it.